Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, working on the free tee again. So now that we got all the paint work done on the body, we're ready to move back to the chassis and drivetrain and get it all to the same level as the body is. So one of the last things mechanically that I need to do or modify on the car is shorten the torque tube and the drive shaft. So today what I'm gonna show you guys is a quick, simple, easy way that you guys can shorten your torque tube at home and get it all ready and bolt it up for your hot rod. So let's get started. Matt started by mounting a front torque tube stub to the transmission and measured from the weld behind the speedometer gear opening to the mounting surface on the rear end. Measure the torque tube and find the best place to cut the tube so that you will be removing the center bearing support and cutting where it's uniform. Try to avoid cutting the tube on the taper as it makes alignment for welding difficult. Measure and scribe your second cut line just in front of the rear mounting flange, as it is the same overall diameter where you made your first cut. After cutting the two pieces to length, bevel both halves at the weld joint for full penetration when welding. Take two pieces of angle iron and clamp the tube into them. This will align the two sections for welding. With the tube in the fixture, add a number of tacks around each side until the torque tube can be removed from the angle iron and test fit before final welding.
sneeze. After confirming everything fits well, you can run a first root pass focusing on getting the deepest part of the bevel melded together. You can then run a second pass around the tube completely filling the weld joint. All right, so we got the torque tube all welded up. Uh, Andrew and I took turns stripping the old original paint off the torque tube after I welded it up. And it's pretty much good to go. Uh, that all went fairly smoothly. That was kind of the down and dirty way to do this. There are many ways that you can do this depending on what your skill set and the tools that you have are, but that's the general process for doing it. And uh, so we got the torque tube kind of set how we needed it. Now the next thing we need to do is shorten the drive shaft. So you can see down here in the foreground, we have the original drive shaft from a later V8 car. And that thing is like way longer, uh, like double the length. You can see this is what we pulled out of the uh, original torque tube is this much. So almost cut it in half. And we did lose the original bearing retainer, the center bearing that comes in the later torque tubes, but because the drive shaft is so short now and the torque tube's so short, you really don't need that center carrier, so it's no problem at all. So that's why we cut it the way we cut it, to try and avoid uh, that area where the center bearing uh, surface is. That area usually ends up being hardened and it's a pain to cut and weld in that area. So I usually cut just in front or just in behind like that. Uh, so it works out really well. So next time what we're going to do is work on getting the, the uh, actual drive shaft shortened. What I can do is slide that drive shaft into this shortened torque tube. There is a location in the actual drive shaft itself where a circlip sits. So that's a neat little trick. You can slide the drive shaft all the way into the torque tube. You seat the clip in the stock location where it would be originally. And then from there you can measure and see exactly how much you need to cut. The other way you can also do it is measure the amount that you cut out of the torque tube and cut the same amount out as well. But I like to double check it uh, by doing it, uh, by clipping it into the torque tube as well as measuring it and shortening it, you know, making my marks for cutting it. So overall, overall pretty straightforward. It's one step closer to getting the frame ready to be blown all apart and uh, get it all painted. This is kind of the last mechanical stuff that we need to do other than rebuilding the backing plates and stuff like that. But uh, this is one of the last big mechanical things for the drivetrain that we need to sort out. So getting pretty close here. So that's all I have for this one. We do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Uh, as always, definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, drop us a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.